I'm back with another motherfucker. Hi, Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. The basic bitches wear that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. The basic bitches wear that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi, Fendi, Prada. The basic bitches wear that shit, so I don't even bother. Gucci, Gucci, Louis, Louis, Fendi. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Sunny Shy back with another video and today's video is going to be a review on this wig from aliexpress it's from a company called julia hair and julia hair it is pre-colored um it's a very nice like caramel blonde mix um this is really like i don't do a whole lot of wigs i'm gonna show you my overall process of how i got this look but for the most part i'm on the same level as y'all i'm not a hairstylist so you know what i mean like you don't gotta do everything but it's just the review boo boo <laughs> Always keeping young and vitality. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. Like, the translator was all wrong. Um, so yeah, it comes with the wig gap and everything else. I'm gonna let the music get back to it. So after plucking, I did end up using my hot comb just to kind of like start it off, I guess, before straightening it. Like, um, I used like the little bomb stuff and then I hot combed it. Like, I don't know, I've seen it in some video and it actually worked pretty nice. Okay, so I braided my hair, and you cannot tell me I don't look like Cleo from Set It Off. Like, a bitch is like really giving y'all a whole look. I was trying to give hella angles, but ended up hurting my neck a little bit. So first I added a little bit of my foundation, um, but I do want to disclaim, like, please do not clump it on there the way I did. I mean, ultimately it worked, but like, it really wasn't the best method. You don't necessarily have to use the powder, but it did help to set the foundation that I put on originally. I 
tried to commit using this comb like to put it on there but honestly like I just figured my finger was like the best way to do it and truthfully I just wiped in like the little gel until it kind of like turned clear because I didn't want it to like dry white and I did end up putting a couple of layers on each side so I put a layer and then kind of let it get a little bit tacky just a little teensy bit like not a whole lot and then I added another layer um, just to have that extra security um, really like I didn't even end up going anywhere so the security wasn't even needed <laughs> but like um, yeah just do what makes you feel comfortable and like how you feel like you want to put your wig down like to each their own look ended up looking a whole lot better than I initially thought it was going to like when I took it out the package so the wig did end up laying really flat um, which is why I ended up tucking one side behind my ear and left the other side out um that side didn't lay as flat probably because I didn't pluck it as much I'm giving you an up-close look because sometimes we get misled when it's like really far away um, I did end up cutting off some of the lace to make it look more natural after this video um, but there is minimal shedding and it looks really good so I'm not mad Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, it's pretty cute overall. Um, I do like the color. Um, I wish I probably plucked this side just a tad bit more because it is a little bit more bulky than I would have liked it to be. But I will say that overall I do feel like this wig is a very nice color for women of color um, who are a little bit darker. Um, I kind of have a medium, medium skin tone. So anyway guys, stay tuned for my next video.